a father and son among the three dead, according to charging documents in this case, a dispute over parking may have sparked this mass shooting. Police told us today the possibility of a racially motivated hate crime has not been ruled out. A longtime resident, Charles Robert Smith, is charged with at first pulling out a pistol and shooting two unarmed men in a dispute over parking in front of Smith's home during a birthday party up the street. And then, according to charging documents, Smith is accused of going into his house, grabbing a rifle and shooting through a window at people who were coming to help. Two were killed in the first shooting. Another man died and three were wounded in the round of rifle fire from the house that followed. Smith is Anglo. All the victims are Latino. Annapolis Police Chief Edward Jackson was asked about a possible hate crime. Ostensibly, our suspect is a white male and the three victims are Latino, but we can't draw any inferences from that. You know, we, we, we have to look at every possible angle. Police identified the dead as a father and son, 55-year-old Nicholas Morales, who was shot as he ran to the scene trying to help his son, 27-year-old Mario Antonio Morales Ruiz, who was killed in the initial shooting. Also killed in the initial confrontation, family friend, 25-year-old Christian Marlon Segovia. The identities of the three wounded have not been made public. No, a resident of the home where the birthday party for the Morales family was being held told us in Spanish dozens of children were present. Other residents described Smith as hostile to Latino neighbors over issues like parking, music, and playing in the street. Chief Jackson said as many as 150 were present when he responded to the scene last night. When people start shooting and you have uh, the events that occur there, people are scrambling, running for cover, trying to get their, rescue their children and loved ones. So it was very volatile scene. Maryland Governor Wes Moore and Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman reacted today. Another mass shooting in our country. And this time, it happened here. Weapons like this have no place in our neighborhoods. I don't know exactly what kind they were, but they were powerful enough to do a huge amount of damage on the front lawn of a home in a quiet neighborhood in a short amount of time. The three survivors of this tragedy were described as in stable condition in hospitals by authorities today. In Annapolis, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.